John Kozlar is the Chicago native that first ran for public office at the age of 21, and now he's setting his sights on City Hall. He joins us now to chat about his platform and his hopes to become the next mayor of Chicago. Hello and good morning. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. So let's talk a little bit about you. Obviously, you're from the Bridgeport neighborhood. You're South Sider. Right. And you also went to Mount Carmel High School, University of Chicago. What did you end up doing after college? Yeah, so after college, I uh, then went on to law school. Uh, I got my JD, passed the bar exam, and became an attorney. Um, oh, wow. John Marshall, right? John Marshall, yeah, right, okay. right in the uh, uh, Chicago area. So uh, it, it's been a great experience, um, a humble one. And, you know, none, none of my parents went to college. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a first generation college and first generation law student. So um, it's been a, a great time. So you ran for alderman at age 21. Now here we are about eight years later, right. and you're looking to be mayor of Chicago. A lot of people would look at that and think that it's fairly young. What's your response to that? Right, so uh, when I ran for my first time in 2011, we were talking about the issues in Chicago were crime, education, and finances. And in the year 2018, we're talking about the same issues of crime, education, and finances. So nothing's changing. And I want to be the voice inside Chicago to work with communities. A lot of people right now are feeling disenfranchised uh, with the current administration. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of the neighborhoods are not being taken care of. And a lot of resources are only staying within a downtown area or a, a certain amount of neighbors just slowly outside of that. So uh, we need to make change right now. We do need to work directly with community members and we need to be involved. Um, and the, the big part that I'm running is we need to get the youth involved in politics. Mm -hmm. a, lot okay. of this, a lot of the decisions that are being made are impacting our future. I don't know if you're, uh, the parking meters, that's going to be around for another 63 years. And that yeah. was a decision that was made for a short amount of time. It only impacted a few years of the Chicago budget. But we're on the hook for that. Yeah. Not, not only our, my generation, but the generations leading on. And in three years, that contract is going to be paid for in full, which means hundreds of millions of dollars are going to be taken away from Chicago instead of inside of our city. I hear you. So let's talk of what you mentioned. These are key points in your platform, crime, education, finance. Let's start with crime. Um, big issue here in the city of Chicago. We get national attention for it. How do you think we need to combat that? Yeah, right now we need the community to work directly with the police department. I think the police department need to be allowed to do their job. Okay. Uh, right now we're doing a lot of micromanaging and it's just undermining the, the morale of the police department. When they're the ones who are taking care of our city and protecting us, uh, the community members all have a voice as well and we just need to make sure we, we fill that gap and work together to avoid these criminals and the fight against the criminals because right now there's a lot of violence in Chicago. Over a thousand people mm -hmm. have been shot and it's not even June yet. Mm -hmm. So we need to really, really work together as a community. Uh, we need to make sure we have solutions directly uh, and just work together. We're hiring more police officers. Do you think that that is a good move currently? Yeah, I think hiring more police officers is important, but I think we need more police presence on the streets. Um, I think we need the people who are policing our streets should be from that area. Uh, at least a 70, 30, 70 percent are from the area, 30 okay. percent are, are outside uh, the boundaries. But because then the people who actually live there, they know the, the neighborhood better, they okay. know the district better, um, and then they work, the, they work with the commanders directly. And I think that will be a big change that will help out the city of Chicago. Okay, talk to me about education. I know we're moving fast yeah. here, but we're trying to get in as much as possible. Yeah. Talk to me about education, all these schools closing on the city's south and west sides. Yeah, education is very important. Obviously, I think having a young candidate, we're more in tune with the next generation of students. Okay. And I think they, they could then look up to us and be, and we could be a role model to them. Um, I think we need to nurture our students better. How um, would we help some of these schools that are closing? I mean, that's uh, one of the keystones of gentrification in the city. Once the school closed, you know the neighborhood is just, it's going to be changing. How would yeah, we attack that? yeah, not only that, we have to make sure that we're nurturing our students in the sense of giving them career-oriented uh, feedback early. So one of the programs that I'm going to enact is Little Professionals League. You okay. know, we can have a Little League baseball team, Little League softball, yeah, Little yeah, League yeah. football. Uh, we need now to have Little League professionals in the sense of we have them shadowing different career points um, and have them shadow different you know, doctors or if they want to be attorney, if they want to be a plumber. Uh, they're getting that at an early age so they know what they want to do uh, before they hit high school or before they hit college. Um, okay. So just so they're better prepared. We're running out of time, but I got to ask you about immigration. Obviously, that affecting a lot of people here in the city of Chicago. We're a sanctuary city. Do you support our status? Yeah, right now I want to make sure that the people who are in Chicago are protected uh, and then make sure that the, the, the residents are being well taken care of. And that includes everybody from all races, ethnicities, backgrounds, ages, uh, from our seniors all the way to immigrants. So, Well, what would be your response to a more conservative approach, people who obviously don't want to maintain, people who might be criminals or people from uh, these outside countries? What would be your response? 
response to that. Right, right. So if you, obviously we want to kick the criminals out. We, won't, we don't want to add to what we have right now. But at the same time, we don't want to kick good families out of our neighborhoods um, because the, Chicago is all is an immigrant city. Okay. Uh, we just want to make sure that, again, the criminals are out. So if you are coming in and you are a criminal from another country, we don't want you in Chicago. But if you're somebody who's you know, a family person and just wants your family to do well, you're welcomed. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for clarifying that. Yeah. We appreciate it. John Kozler. Hey, nice to meet you. Thank you so much. You as well. JohnKozler.com is where you can read more about John's platform in the mayoral race. Thank you. We'll continue to follow your story, your progress. Thanks.